Hey guys, it's Jules here, and if you watch my latest videos, I think you will notice that I dyed my hair purple, and I just feel like I should share the story with you guys, because I think it's really important to learn from my story, because can I just say, this was not exactly intentional, although I do like it, it was, that was not my plan, so, <coughs> sorry, let's start off. I went in a few weeks ago to get my hair dyed a dark red color, like the color of wine. And uh, the lady was worried. She's a really great hair stylist, um, Misty. She's great. She was worried that since my hair had really light blonde highlights that it was going to take like a bright ass orange red. And I didn't want to be a Ranga, like a total Ranga. So we did kind of a safe color. It was like more brown, dark brown. And I was, I actually liked it at first, but then it faded so much that so the red completely faded out and I was stuck with brown hair color. And the, I told everyone the last thing I wanted was brown hair. <laughs> so I bought this Manic Panic Divine Wine color after looking on their website for like a few weeks, looking to see which ones was the nearest color to what I wanted to get. So I looked on this color called Divine Wine and the color was the color that I wanted. It was like a dark, deep burgundy red. And so I was like, oh, this will look good. And I saw that one of the ladies had done it on already dark hair. So I was like, oh, this will probably just tint it a little bit. Just the tiniest bit tint it. So the, on Friday night, I go into the shower, you know, put it on. Oh, and also just a quick side note. I had read that the girl, I forget her name. At the bottom of the page, she had left it on overnight, and so I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to take enough, but I only left it in for an hour and a half. So on Friday night, I went and I washed my hair, put it on, and I let it sit for an hour and a half, not long at all. I go into the shower, and all hell breaks loose. Can I just tell you that my shower looked like a murder scene? First of all, this shit is bright ass fluorescent pink. When you rinse it out of your hair... It stains everything. There were stains dripping down my face. My ears were bright pink. My neck was bright pink. And this, I wasn't even dyeing my hair pink. I was like, where's all this pink coming from? My back, there was like a line of pink down my back for the next like two days. It was miserable. Everything was pink. And I was just, my parents didn't know about this, right? So I was like, oh shit, I'm going to get in so much trouble. But I didn't, it's, um, yeah, I didn't get in a lot of trouble because I told them first before I bought it. I just didn't tell them that I was doing it that day. But anyway, so my whole bathtub, I don't know if you read Cat in the Hat, when the bathtub has the pink ring around it, yeah, that's what mine looked like. So I actually do like the color turnout, but can I just say I have washed this three times with non, like a... Not because I use sulfate free shampoo usually, and I purposely use the other kind to try to fade the color because it was like bright ass pink. When I walked out in the sun, there was like pink on the sides, and it was like if some of my hair was frizzing out a little bit, you could see the pink. And once Warge and I went to homecoming, and I was getting really sweaty, just dancing, having fun, and all like my hair, I straightened my hair, and it got so curly. And all the purple started dripping down, and it was horrible. It was so embarrassing. So, can I just say, if you're planning on dyeing your hair this color, please, I beg you, do not <laughs> use Manic Panic. Or, if you want to use it, because I actually do like the way that it has turned out. But, obviously, this is not the same color. I went to Sephora, and the lady, one of the ladies who was getting their makeup done, too, told me that this was the color it was supposed to turn out. But, I looked on that website, you know. And this is not the same color on the website. Like, I will send you a link to show you that this is, like, fucking purple. I was trying to get a dark red. I quite like this, though. But, I mean, that's not good if you want to get the color that this says it is. But, anyways, please don't use this unless the most important thing, wear gloves. My hands were bright pink. I wore gloves when I put it on, but I didn't think it would matter when I washed it out. Wear gloves. Put petroleum jelly around your face or whatever that's called because I've heard that that helps. I had like bright pink shit dripping down my face for a week. <sighs> what else? Oh yeah, rinse it outside. If you have a hose outside, lean over or like backwards, have somebody help you and wash it away from your face and away from your back because it will drip on your skin and it will stain your skin. 
It'll stain your face. You think I'm joking? I, oh, it was miserable. I had to like scrub and scrub with rubbing alcohol and makeup remover and shit and it was just not happening. So just make sure that if you're going to use this, because this is a cool color. They have really nice colors and stuff. I've never had a problem with manic painting before. I've used like three different colors, but I used a blue. So I'm thinking that it's something in the red, the red pigment. So anyways, make sure that you wash it outside and wash it like four times until the water runs completely clear. When you hold it down, like when you're spraying the water at it, make sure that it runs clear because if not, you may think the dye is out. It's not. Can I just tell you that? <laughs> so next time I'm going to try to use a different brand or maybe I'll just use this and be careful because in the end, the drama that came from using this, this isn't even a permanent dye. The drama that came from using this, it just was horrible. It was the craziest weekend ever. All, and But I, I like the results, okay? I'm liking having purple hair right now. Because <laughs> I think that it looks kind of natural. It's not too crazy. But yeah, so if you guys want to like leave me a comment with your craziest stories or if you have any questions before you do it. Because I do like Man in Panic. I've used it for a while. But I just... It was, it was crazy. I was so surprised. So if you're thinking of doing this, please look around at your other options or get it done professionally. If you just bring this in to your hair person, they should do it for you. And that would save you so much trouble. Can I just tell you? It was such a crazy weekend. But yeah, thank you for watching. See you guys later.